Yeah. All right, we, we would just like to thank one of the most well-known filmmakers at our school, a great animator, Kai Nyker, who has been acknowledged as a tremendously creative individual, and I've asked him to be a guest and explain and tell us a little bit about his inspiration and tell us about some of the films that he's made in To Animate, a Purple Mash tool. So welcome, Kai. We have talked for quite a long time about presenting some of your work, and I'm very pleased to see that you are here with two of your friends. Um, if you could each just introduce yourselves, that'll be wonderful. My name is Arush. I'm Kai, um, and my movies I make. I always, I always look at stuff in a different way, and um, yeah. And that's amazing. That's creativity. And we have a third guest. Hi, I'm Ayan Nair. Right, so welcome to all of you three. Kai, I love the idea that you see things in a different way. And that's probably one of the qualities that makes a brilliant filmmaker. So we look forward to seeing some of your films. Do you want to take over the mouse and show us some of your works and give us a little bit of an explanation of what they are? Okay, um, the first one I have is is this one. It's about a di It's about dinosaurs. It's a very long movie. Let me slow it down a bit so you can, so you guys can see. So that is just an area. These, and so on on one dinosaur it says it's saying this. Welcome to the Jurassic World. So you're inspired by Jurassic Park, I suppose, Kai. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to play the film for us, or? Okay, I'll play it. Just goes to a short part. You want to tell us a little bit about the, the dinosaurs that you're depicting? Okay. The first dinosaur here is it's a T Rex. Oh, very um, good. Mm. The second one is a Triceratops, but I haven't even written anything on it. Um, so he'll just leave and, that out. And the um, T Rex is was one of the biggest and um, one of the biggest dinosaurs. Very fierce, isn't it? Mm. Why the most deadliest? Okay, very scary dinosaur. I and suppose that's the, why they put it in Jurassic Park. Okay. And then the first, the the most, the most dangerous dinosaur is the um, is the Allosaurus. And it, you should know that all the dinosaurs are already extinct. Okay, so we. And there are there are only one species of dinosaurs that live today, and that is oh, reptiles. Reptiles include tortoises, snakes, crocodiles, and many more. Thanks for that. Do you want to show us another one of your wonderful movies? Just open it. This is the movie. One of my movies. It's called Space. Let me just quickly play it for you. It's just called Space. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. Love the reds that you're shooting out of the engine of that, of that spaceship. The first one is a spaceship. spaceship. It's flying past. Spaceships need about 500 meters, 500 um, liters of fuel to get it to the moon. And, and what is that behind the spaceship that you've got there? Oh, it's Mars. Um, oh, that's the little Mars. red one is at uh, the bottom, by the tail of the spaceship. That's Mars, okay, red planet, obviously. And the and the one, uh, the big one, that's at the, the front of the spaceship. That's Earth. Excellent. Oh yes. We live right over down there. Brilliant. It's beautiful. And then the next one is this an is alien. A, this is a, a alien UFO. in a UFO. Wow. It's an alien flying to Earth. And then the third picture I put in here is a satellite. It's used to take pictures from the space, and then it is used to take pictures from Mars or uh, other planets. A satellite up. is also used for communicating from space to a computer. It gives internet from space down. And, and then the last one is a meteoroid. Coming, heading for Mars. And you can see that red coloring is the fire coming from the meteor. 
sorry to interrupt you, but how do you get all this energy to produce so much work? Oh, I, I still don't know how. But that's wonderful. You love doing what you do. Whatever you do, you love doing, and that's why you're so good. Tell us a little bit about this one. Okay, this one is an Egyptian theme. Um, let me quickly play it. It's Egypt and then inside the pyramid. You might wonder why it has Japanese writing or Chinese writing. It's just I found this picture and then I decided to put it in because it looks like the inside of the pyramid. It just looks like a fancy way how to um, like say what it looks like in there. I think it's beautiful. Thanks for showing us that. And interesting how the gold color inside matches the outside. That's lovely that you use that technique, that there's this blending, and the two seem to fit very well together. Lovely. And the oldest tomb and the oldest pyramid in Egypt is the Pyramid of Giza. 200 chambers. Amazing. Thanks so much for sharing that with us as well. The oh. first one is a T Rex. The second is a um, pterodactyl, and the third is a spinosaurus, and, oh. and the last one is the same pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. So pterodactyl has got ability to fly. So is that why it's got wings there? Tremendous. Wow. That's a, that the, ter the pterodactyl is about 20 years old, and 21st year it died, and it and the fo the first fossil of the of the Pterodactyl was found in in Japan. Wow, that's fantastic. And can we have a last look at that T-Rex? Because that kind of links in with the Jurassic Park of your first video. Oh, look at those lines that you've used on. Why did you use the orange for T-Rex? T-Rex, that kind of color? Or like no. Tigerish I tigerish I wanted I wanted it to stand out more in pictures. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, very good. And I love that volcano in the background. Um, some people think that volcanoes kill the dinosaurs, and some people think meteoroids kill the dinosaurs. But it did wipe them. Wow, that, that's fascinating. Volcano or meteoroid did not kill the dinosaurs. The wow. volcano and meteoroid just killed like two or five, but then the rest were were killed by other dinosaurs and. Huge earthquakes that were formed in the earth that just like and wiped them out. Oh, so it was all natural like reasons that they ended up like dying out. Tell me, what grade are you? Because I'm amazed that you've done all this work. What grade are you in? I'm in grade two, two grade A. Two. Aha! What Let is that? me quickly Skull play it. Hands. Oh, this is all about pirates. You want to share that with us, Kai? I can see a pirate ship. Okay, in this movie here, um, pirate ship. And the top that's sailing. Next, it goes to the shore. The then it goes a bit deeper. That's uh -huh. the water. Then it goes right to the bottom. The oh, it's almost as if the that's pirate the ship is sunk. Pirate ship. And there's a shipwreck oh. over there. It's the same pirate ship. I noticed oh, that you got. Look at that shark in the background. I know in one of your one of my favorite films of yours is there's a shark in it. So that's interesting as well. And, and then this is in a canyon. All right, let's, should we go to the next film? And did okay. you know that when ships are wrecked under the water, they so slowly become uh, artificial coral for fish to live in? Oh, so they, they form, they help nature yeah. in a way. This one is funny and it has a lot of detail. His hat is... His hat is... And it's even got sound effects. Off. You can hear the sound effects. And his briefcase is What is the, all these little fluffy things coming out of that suitcase? Oh, it's a foam flying out of his suitcase. Why would he have foam in his suitcase? And his umbrella To, is to keep foam. all his stuff in. What? It's stunning. I love the work. And I just love the way you use strong colors. It makes it stand out. And your clouds with that fluffiness that comes of clouds. It's beautiful. Changes in the course of your animation. Kai, you're very good at kind of seeing the connection between colors and, and lots of different, the wind, which is an invisible thing, but you can feel it, almost feel the wind from this animation, and yet it's invisible. So well done, brilliant. To show invisible things in the way that you've done in this film is pretty clever. Is one of Mr. Bradley's fa favorite ones. Ah, uh, the one with the shock I love. That is something I really was one of the most amazing films, animations that you've done. This is it, yes. 
the the story I'm telling here is about the shark wants to eat the tuna, and the tuna wants to eat this clownfish. Let me quickly play it. And remember, kids, clownfish are poisonous. Don't touch them. <laughs> and I love the way you got the seaweed moving. What is the reason behind that? How did you get that seaweed moving? Oh, and what the, is the story about that? The seaweed moving is just because. Maybe some of you don't know, and some of you do know that seaweed is a is is an alive creature, and seaweed moves like that also blend in and to fight away predators that come to eat the seaweed. It's so it's almost like an octopus in a way. Yeah. That's amazing because in your other picture, other one, you had the the wind moving, creating movement. What is that yellow one on the right hand side? Oh, this is also coral. Coral. But, coral. Oh. but coral comes in different ways. They can be red, orange, green, blue. Famous artists often use green and yellow, and you naturally are doing it. And you're only in grade two. Which one's the clownfish? I don't really know a lot about Oh, fish. the clownfish is this uh, one. That one's the clownfish. Is, is Finding this... Mima a, a, a clownfish? Because I don't yeah. know. Okay, yes, I did see that. And then this small one here is Dory. Ah, also, yes, Dory. It's um, yeah. something tang, but yeah. I know the species is a tang. That's tremendous. We don't know. I can see lightning there. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Is it lightning, Kai? I yeah, know. it is lightning. Do you want to tell us about it? Let me first play it. The rain is making the bag wet, and then all the things are ripping out of the bag. Okay, Kai, do you want to go and explain this to us? Because we're all speculating what they, what's happening, but you know your okay. story better than anyone else. The rain's, the rain's making plant this plant grow bigger, oh, so the bed, yeah. and then the stuff that's falling out, if you can't see, is bread, bread, roll, roll, carrots, pineapple, and you can see... He's in rain. You can see him wearing a and rain you, know, you know what I find most amazing about this picture and this animation is that as these fruits, the bread and all the stuff that is very precious and food is falling out, there's this plant growing on the left hand side. This plant comes up as the food falls out. So it's almost like one thing goes, another thing comes. And that I think is so tremendously clever. And you've got... So you got you working in twos. Truly wonderful work. Well done to you again on that. Look at the blue, the light blue and the, the blue of this hoodie. Is he wearing a hoodie? Yeah, he's wearing a jacket. Oh, he's, okay. And if you put the seeds and peels underground and put water on it, then it'll actually grow into the same fruit or vegetable it was. Thank you so much for that as well. And, then, and then also, this is what I find funny. Some people think when I show them this video or this film, they say the bread is going to grow into a bread tree. No. <laughs> oh, a bread tree. That won't yes, happen. Yes, yes. I'll show the last one. All right. Are you going to do any work during the holidays? Because we know how inspiring yeah. that would be. This is a story about an owl who gets scared by the dandelions and flies away. And remember, the dandelions, you can make wishes with it. People believe that when you blow on them, it will make a wish for you. The way that that owl is sitting there and suddenly he opens his wings, it's so realistic. This is really, truly remarkable. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about it? I think it's amazing. Okay. So the story I have behind this phone is, so the owl is sitting and then he gets scared. And then he wishes something on the dandelions and he blows it. Then he flies away. To the place he wants to go. So wind is a very strong theme in your work. You had that other one where that man was uh, with the wind. I think it was the man. Here you got the dandelion with the wind. It's beautiful. It's truly wonderful. And I love the and purple um, fluffy things on the tree. The flowers. It, it, it's like so satisfying Afternoon. when you watch it. Thank you so much for doing this video. We've talked a long time about doing a video. And one day we'll all be watching you doing these amazing films. And we'll say, wow, we also were in, in our computer club. You were part of that. And we'll know that we, we interacted with one of the world's great filmmakers. So thanks so much for showing us all of this. We wish you well with further filmmaking in the future. Making a book. Um, and, I'm on a com and I'm actually going to put it into Purple Nash and... It's about this tortoise who explores. The title is Taboris the Brave Tortoise. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's a wrap. Yes, so we're gonna like and subscribe.